Good morning everyone. Today we're going to talk about these UVC wands. You may have one of these yourself. I've seen people use these to disinfect their cell phone, to disinfect their mask, and you might be thinking, hey, isn't UVC quite dangerous for the skin and eyes? How come you're not being careful? Well, this is what I would consider to be a scam or a fake product. The way they trick people is by giving them this UV test card and they say, just hold it over there and you'll see that it reacts to the UV. And there you go. You can see that yes, it reacted. The problem with this card is it will react to all types of UV, including UVA. So there are thousands of people who bought these online. They're using it for their cell phone. They're using it for their mask. They're using it for their groceries. It's not doing anything. It's just a scam. So you have to be very, very careful. Do not trust these test cards because they're for all types of UV, not specifically UVC. What they should be giving is a test card like this, which shows UV or UVC separately. And if I use this wand, you'll see that the UV lights up, but the UVC does not. But if we test with genuine UVC, you can see that side light up. Now there are some people that just think all UVC LED products are fake. That's not true. This is a genuine UVC LED, those three there but the amount of UVC that it generates is actually quite small. And that brings us on to the next topic. If you look at these two UVC ones, they look almost identical. The only difference really is the logo. This one is from UV Care, and this one is from a local hardware shop. Now the UV Care cost under 1300 pesos, and this one cost 14.99. So this one is actually more expensive. So while they look identical, the one from UV Care gives off a lot more UVC. And that's what I'm actually going to demonstrate to you today with a UVC meter. We'll start with the UV Care. One, two, three, four. We'll start at four inches. Let's turn our light on. At four inches, we're getting around 480. At three inches, 720. Two inches, 1300 one inch we've overloaded my meter so let's go up to one and a half inches okay around 1900 at one and a half inches if i get any closer than one and a half inches it overloads my meter because this meter can only read up to 2000 now we'll test this one from the hardware shop that looks almost identical we're reading around 70 and at three inches 140 at two inches, around 250. At one inch, 500, 600. And then if we go half an inch, we're reading around 1100. And this is probably the distance you would usually have your wand. Now, obviously I already explained that this one doesn't output any UVC. So no matter how close we put it to the meter, it just won't read anything. Next, we'll test with this one, which does have real UVC LEDs, but they don't output that much. So let's start at four inches and the meter didn't even detect it. Let's go down to three inches. OK, we've got a small reading. Let's go down to two inches. Mm, again, doesn't detect much. One inch. OK, we're still not much. So as you can see, yes, the real UVC LEDs, but they don't produce much UVC. Very, very small amount. Next, we're going to test this power bank, which is actually really interesting. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank, but it has a built in UVC lamp. The only thing is, if I zoom in here, you can see it's already starting to burn. The tubes are already starting to burn. So I don't think this is going to last too long. Anyway, here we go. At four inches, we're reading around 140. 3 inches, 230, at 2 inches, around 400, at 1 inch, ooh, how much did we get there? Around, well, it's jumping around all over the place. This one is not very stable. That might also be why the lamp is starting to burn out already. So as you saw there, even if all of the products look quite similar, they do not perform the same, whether it's a fake item or whether it's just one that outputs very, very little UVC. 
but it makes a big difference because the way these work is the dose and the dose is how much UVC outputs multiplied by how long you run it. So as much as possible, you want the higher power one. Another thing is that the UV care wand does not generate ozone. If we turn it on and put in our ozone meter, close the lid and then wait for 30 seconds, remove the lid and you see that it's basically reading nothing. That's just background levels. So no ozone being generated. Next we'll test the power bank, which we'll lift the lid. In fact, I just heard it giving a warning. So there's a lot of ozone. Of course, now I've removed the lid, it's all going to dissipate, but uh, yeah, this is definitely generating ozone. Now there might be someone out there who wants ozone, but generally for a wand that you're going to be holding near your body, you probably don't want ozone to be generated. What you need is a piece of paper, a fluorescent highlighter, and a glass. This is a shot glass, but you could use a regular drinking glass. So if we just write on here, UV, We'll take our fake wand and you'll see the text is fluorescent. Next we take our real wand and we see that it is also fluorescent. But here's where the trick comes in. Take a glass, it could be a drinking glass for example, and then test again. So with this one we can see that it's still very very fluorescent. But if we test with our real UVC, you can see it's not fluorescing, it's not reacting because UVC cannot pass through regular glass like that. Let me turn off the light so I can show you better. So here's our fake wand and then I'll place the glass over it and you can see it is still fluorescing. Here's our UVC and you can see it's also fluorescing. If we put a glass over it you see how the U is fluorescing but the V is not because UVC cannot pass through regular glass. Let's block that again See that? It's no longer fluorescing. And then move it out of the way. And there you go. So that's just a simple test you can do because real UVC cannot pass through a regular glass. This is a special quartz glass. So hopefully what you learned in this video is, firstly, there's a lot of scam products out there. They tell you it's UVC, but it's not. It's also those products that look just like the real thing, but they don't perform the same. This one from UV Care is actually cheaper than this one that came from the hardware shop, but the UV Care generates a lot more UVC. So when you're trying to sanitize something, like your phone, for example, it's going to do the job much faster. Because like I mentioned earlier, the UV dose required is basically the power of the UVC, how much it's actually emitting, multiplied by the time, how many seconds, minutes or hours that you actually run this for. So if you have a very low powered wand, yes, it will work, but it will take much longer. So that's why obviously UV care is a better choice. Now this video is not sponsored by UV care. I am actually a regular customer. I bought my own wand online, just like everyone else. But I did speak to UV Care, I told them I'm preparing this video, and they actually provided some products. Now these are not from me, these are for Quezon City General Hospital. I'm going to be turning these over, just like we did recently with the UVC germicidal air exchanger from another company. So these are not from me, they're for Quezon City General Hospital. Now if anyone's interested in a future video, I'll actually do a example where I'll show you bacteria being inactivated or being killed by UVC. Maybe not any specific brand, but just to show you that the technology really can work. Of course, when it comes to viruses, you have to do your own studies. There's a lot of tests. There's no point in me doing it because viruses are too dangerous to play around with, but there's already studies online. So I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. We know already social distancing, wear a good quality mask, wash your hands regularly. These UVC lights are just like the next level. You don't have to use them, but a lot of people do use them, whether it's in a hospital setting or at home. But you have to be very careful. Do not expose your eyes, do not expose your skin. Be very careful if you're going to use something like this. Thanks for watching.